Like always, thanks for tuning in to the channel date. And I'd tell you what a partly damaged channel it is too. Whoopee D there. So apart from that, I don't know, things are going that bad. I, I think I might have to change the channel name to um, Warro's Handy Hints because, you know, I think the motorcycle channel's going downhill. So let's go upstairs here to the thing. And how I'm going to start my Handy Hint one is, as you know, I'm working on this section of the roof here. So right over here and I've been up here doing a bit of screwing in between other things but the screwing it caused the problem in the first place but that's what I've been doing up here and I've got all this roof area here to do now the trouble is I've been using a drill with uh, I don't know well I thought I had two lithium batteries but in actual fact I only had one working and it was taking a fair while because once it went flat I had to come back down and do it. So that was the story with the lithium battery. One worked, one never. So uh, by the way I was on this fight yesterday, not a bad one either. So um, as far as things go I was out there giving it a bit of a workout with the lithium. Only one was working, it was just taking too long. Now um, I tried the other one, the charger and adjust it. The, the, the lights on it just blinked all the time, which wasn't really good enough. So uh, I tried a couple of things and I recall once oh, a few while back somebody on one of the channels came up with this idea. So I thought I'd try it and see if it works or not. So what I'm trying to do is um, get a, or the second battery working so I can get up there because I've got 1800 screws in total to get, pull out 900 out, 900 in. So uh, I'll show you what I've done and I'll show you the end result. Okay guys, here's my good battery. If I press up, down, you get full power there. I've got this hissing on here, help me with this. There's our charger there. So you know this one here is really good, fully charged now. Now if we go to this one here, press the button. Dead as a maggot, no good at all. So what we're going to try to do is get the charge back into this one so I can put it on the charger, bring it up to full power, might work or might not and we'll be using this other battery here to help. Okay guys, so we've got the battery, put her on, you'll see this one's faulty, it just keeps blinking red. So this is the one that's not taking any charge at all. So that part is over, that's the one we've got to fix. Now if we look at the good battery, You'll see now it's fully charged anyway and shows the green charge light. So what we're going to do is try to give this other battery a bit of a boost and in doing so hopefully save this one and I can get up on a roof then and use two batteries instead of one. That's the plan. So I believe this is what will help. If you have a look at this battery here now, it's a bit hard to see but I'll take a, a better photo of it. On the uh, left hand side you've got the um, positive, on the right the negative. So you're going to cut a wire, a lead wire, run it from one side to the other, positive to positive, negative to negative, and then go from there. So what we'll do is I'll take a couple of clear photos here for you to look at. And then I'll also take a couple of clear photos as we go through it and you'll be able to see what goes on in that side too. We've already split the wire on one side. Give it a bit of a hit now on, that, on the other side. That one there's done there. Both wires. So, if you look over this side now, I've got the negative going over to the negative there. So we're going to swing over on the positive side battery and run a positive to positive.
charge the uh, crook one here, that's this one here, and it's actually a little bit warm now, so first time I give it around about, I don't know, 15 to 20 seconds, tried it on the charger, nothing happened. So then I put it back on, put the wiring back together, and then ran it roughly on there three to five minutes. By that time now, I can feel this battery, and this is the crook one, this is the one that wouldn't start at all, and it's picked up a bit of a charge. So we get on the drill now, and I whip her on high. So that's working all right there. Now we swing to number two, and that's me good one. Yeah, so if we're looking at the power side, if we do that, this has got two bars left on it because this battery uh, took out one bar. And if we go on this one here, we got one bar. So what I'm going to do now is whip them on the charger, bring them right up the full charge, and then I'm back to two batteries. But take into account if you try this trick, the lithium battery isn't your friend. It's a tool for you to get out there and do your job. Don't trust the lithium battery, don't leave it unattended, and make sure you only run it three to five minutes, try this one here, and then go from there. But don't walk away and leave one, because these have been known to explode and carry on like that, so you can't trust them. So apart from that, we'll put them on the charge. If I want to come back, I'll see if I've got three bars on each one. At the moment now, I've got that bad battery on, and you'll see now it's blinking away in the green, where before it was totally red, just wouldn't go at all. So it's on its way to charge now, so I'll keep an eye on that one there. And I've got my good battery showing, showing a double charge, or midway, sitting there afterwards. So we're going to run the crook one first, charge it up, this one here after that I can get back up in the roof carry on with what I was doing how to put in or how to pull and put it back in 900 screws equaling 1800 in total and once again uh, we'll just see how this goes and I'll be back with you for a final countdown on this as soon as they charge okay guys we're on the last of the run on a successful program so if we look down here onto this one we're throwing three bars there and all good Swing over to the other battery. And that, there, three bars. So all good there too. So now I've fixed this up here and reprogrammed the other one to take a charge again. What I'm going to say now, and I'll repeat again, is lithium batteries are fairly dangerous sort of batteries, so don't actually walk away and leave it unattended. I would suggest if you try this trick, just give it about three minutes to... Um, put a bit of a charge into the dead battery so it'll be picked up in the charger itself. I don't know, if you haven't got a spare one of the same brand, you may be able to try something else, I don't know. I had two of them when I bought the kit and was able to get onto it that way. So, you know, as far as things go, that's a bit of a fix there for you. It's going to get me out of trouble now because I've got two batteries now to uh, get into and pull those roof screws and put one on rather than do X amount of screws and have to stop and come down and charge. So where one charger wasn't or one battery wasn't working correctly in the first part of the clip, I've got two now, fully powered, and I'm ready to roll. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Take a look. Hope you found this helpful. If you do want to give it a thumbs up, by all means, give it one, and I'll catch up with you on the next clip.